Hi everyone, today we are going to install Java for Windows, so let's go to the command prompt now. And here we are in the command prompt, and the first thing you want to do is to check if you have uh, any available version on Java in your computer. So we'll do this by writing Java dash version, and as we can see, we don't have any version of Java in our computer. So let's change this, write JDK in Google, and from the results, go to the first one, Java AC development 8, it's important to go into Java 8, and after that, let's search down for the Windows version, that is for 64 bits, as I'm using Windows 10. So here just, I save the cookies, okay, so we accepted them, and after that, let's scroll down a little bit, and after that, once we find what we need, which is the Windows version, simply we need to click to download it. So here is the Windows version for 64 bits. And I will select this field here and then I will download it. Just bear in mind that it could ask you for registration. So just register for the website and then download the version of Java. So here I will press the downloaded file. And here we have a few options, of which I'm going to select the accept one. So let's select this here. And after we do this, we can start the simple installation of Java. Just press next everywhere. And finally, the Java will start installing on your computer. So let's wait a bit. And after the installation is complete, press next. Then you will get a little bit more of installing software. So let's wait a little bit. And after everything is installed, just press the button here, close. That's it. And we're ready. Let's check if the Java is installed in our computer. So I will close the terminal. I will close the command prompt now. And after that, I will just run it again. So we have a fresh start and here write the same Java dash version and let's wait a bit. And now, as you can see, we have the Java installed in our computer. You're getting the version of Java, which is good. This means the install was successful. And let's check something else. I'll write Java C or JVAC dash version. So we don't have the JVAC installed as well. And this is because we need to set the environmental variable. And I will show you how to do this. So go to program files in your uh, Java installation. And here you have two folders. One of them is to run Java on your computer. The other one is to assess Java from the command line. And here I will just select this folder. And then let's check here in the folder if we have the jvac so in the folder in a folder that we have jvac just copy the path to this folder so just copy it and after that go to my computer okay this pc and then go to the properties so once you go to properties check the advanced properties select the environmental variables and we'll add a new environmental variable here okay it is actually very simple so here are the environmental variables that our computer is using in order to add java to our path we need to do the following select new here as you can see so right here the name of the variable we can call it just path and then just uh, paste the copied address by Control V. Okay, and we're ready. So press OK everywhere, and now the JVAC is installed, and we will check that by first closing the command prompt and opening it again. So open it here, and after that, write JVAC, VAC, that's it, dash version. And as you can see, now we have the JVAC installed. So let's move on and install Eclipse in our computer. So in Eclipse dash downloads, uh, it automatically recognizes the version you need for your computer. So just select here, uh, download Eclipse. 
So as it recognized that my version is Windows 10, it will immediately prompt me to this. So now I can install the version for the Windows. Just select here download and now it will start downloading. Let's speed up the video a little bit so uh, we are not waiting too much here. And now it's downloaded. Just select the X file and now press run. That's it. And then you are getting into the Eclipse installer. So what would you like to do is to install Eclipse for Java developers. And then simply press install. It will take a few minutes. So first accept the agreement. And then it, it might take you about 5 minutes to install this. Now press launch after it is installed. And here we are in the Eclipse ID. Press next. And then we are entering now Eclipse. And you will see the welcome window but you need to close it here so once you get this window just close it and then you will be able to open a project in eclipse and start building your project so this is what we're going to do let's close the window here and then you can select create a new project and once you do this you will be able to create your first eclipse project and let's test if everything works so let's write the name of the project and after we are done with this after you wrote the name you can uh, check actually the configuration so here in this folder these are where the files are stored okay you don't need to do anything about this here i'm just showing you so you know and then once you check that this folder is there uh, press next and here we can build our project by pressing finish. Okay, select this button here. And that's it. So our project is ready. And let's create a class here. So here we have our class. And okay, uh, so inside this project, let's create a new class okay and here press public static void main option and choose the name for your for your class okay so i will call the class hello world and i will just print hello world here so we can check that everything is working correctly so here in the main class we are going to write system.out.println for print line and in the brackets just simply write hello world and once you do this go here to the execute button and press ok so now you can see that hello world is printed on our screen which means java which means java is installed correctly Thank you very much for watching.